The Double Man factory was not destroyed in World War II from bombings, but there were other problems. With a hunger winter, it was difficult to produce soap because the soap was built on organic fat and uh, if you have to make a decision whether you want to have soap and be clean or if you want to have something to eat, the decision is clear. So when Doubleman learned that in the United States there are new technologies to produce soap based on synthetic material, he became particularly interested. And with the Marshall Plan, the U.S. invited business people to the United States so that they could learn about American technical ingenuity and perhaps purchase new equipment. In 1948, Doppelmann, Daniel Doppelmann and his brother Pete went to Philadelphia to go to the Sharple Centrifugal Company and uh, there they learned uh, about a new machine that allowed to produce soap based on synthetic material. The machine was unfortunately so expensive that uh, at the beginning he became frustrated, but again the Marshall Plan offered an opportunity to make this possible, to get this machine to Nijmegen uh, and to start producing. On the 14th of March in 1950, uh, the ECA uh, Commissioner Clarence Hunter came to Nijmegen uh, and officially opened the machine park and within one week uh, the Dublin factory produced 135 tons of soap. With that new technology he was able to reduce the time of production of soap from five days to two hours. At the time about 300 people were working at the Dublin factory, nobody had to be laid off and the Dutch government also profited from the financial success because the government had to pay back that money and the money again could be used uh, in order to spend it on reconstruction projects such as houses. Today you can still see houses that were built with Marshall Plan money in Nijmegen.